Hello, everybody. This is Pottery Year 2, the goblet with an emphasis on the sculpted stem. So on this project, you are going to make kind of two projects again. Um, a lot of times, again, with, with uh, pottery, um, you, you learn techniques. You got to refine them a little bit. Um, so your first couple are kind of like your sketches. Um, and then ultimately, you'll, you'll come up with something that is hopefully better than your first uh, one or two that are on there. So, so on this one, you're going to make one plain goblet um, and you're going to make one sculpted, sculpted goblet or one goblet with a sculpted stem. Um, we're going to start off with a plain goblet because I want you to kind of watch this video throwing goblets. Um, I did not do it. It's, it's nine minutes and 40 seconds. Um, the, 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 the potter that's on here has a very similar style that, that I learned, you know, with making goblets. So, um, I might make one later in the future. Um, and I might not, you know, <laughs> so, um, so we'll see where that kind of ends up, ends up going, but you're going to want to do, you know, two, maybe three, if you are kind of fast at it. Um, and you're going to, out of those three plain ones, you're probably going to keep your best one and recycle the other one. So if you really want to keep a second one, that's fine. Um, but just for, for material purpose wise, um, I want to kind of keep that, 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 that number of pieces you make kind of down. Okay. Um, cause of costs and stuff like that. So, so that is kind of like your warm up, and your goblet with your plain one is probably going to be the one that's going to be a part of your set um, that you have that you'll make um, kind of like as a, as a side one, you know, again, for when we have our potluck. Um, so you need something to drink out of. You absolutely can drink out of your sculpted one. You probably will drink out of your sculpted one um, kind of thing, but, but I like to have a plain one just in case. So the second one, which is kind of a little more about what this one is, is, is about, which is taking it, taking pottery to another level in the sense of that you combine something you make on the wheel and then something you sculpt. You know, a lot of times we don't marry those two together. And on this one, we do. Um, so before you jump into it, um, you can kind of look at some of the ideas below and realizing that not all these are are ceramic. Um, like the first one right here is actually wood um, that they carved out that has that um, and then it's holding, you know, something there. Um, but the rest of them, you know, this one has metal in it, but you could actually do that, um, you know, kind of kind of out of out of clay. And, you know, this one right here is metal and you just got to be aware of weight. You know, you can't have, you know, a super thin, you know, um, stem to be able to hold this larger cup portion you know, of your goblet. So you just got to be, you got to be conscious, you know, of, of those decisions. Now, like we kind of watched in the video, you'll watch the guy use um, a heat gun um, to, to be able to kind of do this all in one, one shot. And we use the heat gun. Uh, hopefully we'll have, you know, several that we, if we have more than one uh, person in year two that we can use. Otherwise I have a blowtorch um, that we use. Um, that's how I learned. Um, is, is using this propane torch, um, and, that, and that works pretty well for drying it out quickly. So, so it stiffens it up and kind of hold that weight. But you still can't go super thin with it. You know, the ones on the bottom down here are, are really fun. You know, they're really tall. You know, on ours, I, you know, I have a specific weight that we follow. If you want to, if you want to go beyond that, you know, kind of chat with me about it, and we'll just kind of see where where your idea kind of leads. <clears throat> you know, kind kind of to it. So, so these all have something that we could call um, as something you could develop into a theme. Um, so that's what I want you to play around with in terms of what is that sculpted element going to be about? Okay, is it going to be animal feet? And this is just a theme idea. And then you get something a little specific. So what animal foot could you sculpt that might be kind of interesting, you know, for a goblet? You know, and just looking at this dragon, I like the way the artist kind of used the tail to wrap around, you know, but you can almost see if you can come up with some sort of a dragon claw that's the bottom of that, you know, as the stem kind of goes up and you can figure out how you want to do scales or whatever, you know, or you can do like a cow foot, you know, or a deer hoof, you know, or or whatever, or a cow hoof. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so so you can kind of think about, about that. Then human elements, um, like maybe you want to have a hand holding the bottom of that of that cup portion of your goblet um, sports you know again think about you know who you might want to give this to how could you use baseball um, with a bat you know um, as, as something that you could play around with um, you know maybe even the bottom is like an, like a football helmet that you'll paint the 
Green Bay Packers logo on or something. You know, think of vehicle parts. Um, think of vegetation. You know, how you couldn't use leaves, you know, and, and stuff as, as part of that. Think of mythology and, and religion. Um, and just, you know, just other themes and ideas. I mean, there's, there's so many things that are out there. It's up to you as the artist, you know, kind of figure out how you can work with that portion, that sculptural element that will hold your form that you throw on the wheel and how you could marry those two together. Okay. Um, other than that, you know, just basic directions, um, grading wise, you know, quality of bowl, you know, detailed stem, overall design, blah, 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 <laughs> you know, kind of stuff. So, you know, same old, same old. So again, get warmed up, you know, first with, you know, a plain one or two of those, and then you kind of jump into that project um, with kind of that sculptural element. So good luck on it. Um, hope you enjoy the project. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay.